right, so I trust that we've all come up with some idea. Um, you guys lead us off with your, your content. Okay. Show yeah. us. doing a lot more education about you know, how to prevent health prevent dementia, health prevention, health along the way, um, and also doing practice things as well, like you know, parking the bar or doing things while you're watching TV. Um, and we also talked about kind of during fellowship sessions or residency sessions, how we can maybe increase the number of breaks um, so people can kind of get up around and increase their oxygen flow so they can learn better what to do for assessments. Um, I was also thinking about like you know I can back off of the chamber of that <laughs> <laughs> Instead of recommending running or walking, try to find something where it feels like it's doing something that isn't just exercise. Is that Dr. Schaefer and McGuire? Well, part of what, what we talked about meeting with were um, um, more like city uh, the patient population. Um, oftentimes, we have some reminders, and only out of our smart sets to talk about exercise, or especially where at least the hospital began to add it to the universal. about from patient recommendation point of view and just like giving them like if they have diabetes you tell them you know it helps you um, lower a1c blah, blah blah you can add more you know aspects to it saying that it'll help dementia in the future or other little perks about exercising and it doesn't have to be uh, five days a week like rigorous cardiovascular exercise it's like start off walking and um, find a partner like Nicole said and just really make it better yeah talked about the psychology of dependence because you're more likely to show up or do something if someone else is relying on you to do it and then you can be more resilient. We talked about a bunch of different things. Well, <laughs> all kinds of ideas, including the oxygen tank. Um, but we, one idea we had was maybe to have like with resident learners and um, doing maybe some topic discussions or general clubs as like a walking and talking activity, just kind of making that more of a mobile rather than a sedentary activity. Walk rounds. Yeah, and walk rounds. Field trips. And then just practical things, you know, always climb, always take the stairs. And in terms of practical 
Things. One thing I was thinking at the Hump Runners is we could tie Jack, Jumping Jack into the huddles. Mm. <laughs> Might make us slightly unpopular, but. <laughs> 8 a.m., good morning, everybody. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> but just to tie it to something that's already on the, on the schedule, something in this group. I like that because it's portable, like you don't have to have it assembled to knit or a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Just rotating. Think about especially how you could apply it to residents when you come to MDM next Monday, because there's going to be a lot of discussion about uh, duty hours and how to get the maximum bang for your buck with residents without driving them into the ground. Um, so how could we maybe utilize exercise to, to get to that end point? So now for the grand finale, a goodbye to Jack. <laughs> Jumping jacks, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna get some fuel. That's a favorite. <laughs>